going on guys so in today's video I am actually utilizing my stock gauge cluster instead of buying cheap eBay gauges that might not be accurate and stuff and what I did was download a pin sheet um showed exactly what pins on which clips and stuff like that so I hope you guys enjoy make sure you like subscribe and you know finish watching the video we are going to be I have to clean this up yet but we're going to be depinning or actually I'm just going to cut the wires for my gauge cluster um so a little background I was going to go get aftermarket gauges but I decided against that after looking at prices um I saw that there's some cheap eBay ones but I would rather not sorry if I was just covering the mic up but I would rather not um Take the chance of getting a misreading or anything like that. So I downloaded the an entire E36 318IS wiring diagram. I mean, it, it's for everything. It shows pins. It shows you know um, fuses. It shows wire diagrams. Everything. So I got that, and pretty much this is what I got so far. So we're only going to be utilizing a couple of these. Because a lot of them I don't need. Um, like this X16 clip. Which is this one right here. Pretty much controls everything that I do not even need. So I'm not going to cut it. I'm just going to like tape it up. And still hook it up. But pretty much what all that like does. Is for like turn signals and stuff like that. Which I don't really need. Actually a turn signal would be pretty nice. But... Actually, I think I'm going to use a turn signal, so I'm, I'm going to add that on there real quick. Pretty simple. It is just a pin number three and four. Now, this can work for any car, or this can work for the BMW E36. Is, so I'm going to be um, kind of basically showing you how to use these E36s, like clips and stuff like that. Um, if you have a different car, like a 240 or anything like that, I'm sure there's something online that will show you how to better that so pretty much what you have here is this you have this little slider clip that actually slides right on right on here like that I just took my side cutters part it up and then all you do is simply slide it out like that so now to figure out which pin is what you have the numbers right here on the bottom it's not I don't know if you can actually see them or not. Anyway, so you have the pins on the bottom. So, this one right here. This one right here is number 1. Down here is number 14. All the way over here is 13. And 23. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way to 13. That goes for each and single one of them. Okay, so. All you do is you slide that out. You figure out which pin you need. Remember, it always goes like this. And then, don't... I didn't have that ending on camera. Okay. So, all you do is you figure out which pin it is. Then it goes, you know, like that. So, obviously. So, you figure out which pin it And you don't cut that wire. You leave it. So, we're going to get working on that. Okay. So, here's pin number... Here's wire number three. Number four is your left and right turn signal indicator. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take these off the side right here. Not cut any of these because you never know. I might need these. And then, yeah, just keep these off to the side so I know which ones I need for that one. So that is the X16 white clip. Now we're going to start working on the X17 blue clip, which has the vehicle speed sensor voltage supply, coolant temp sensor, there's two of them right there I need, and then the dimmer, which as I was reading online, controls the uh, light. So we're going to turn the headlights on, the lights of the dash should come on, so let's work on that one, which is this, I should have kept that in there. Okay, so here are... The five wires that I need. I'm going to cut these rest of these because I know I do not need them. And 
And you always have to remember in which way the clip goes in, because I got a little confused on that. But I got it now. So I got it turned around and I accidentally cut one. So I'm glad that I gave some space. So anyways, here is my dimmer. Coolant sensors, voltage supply, vehicle speed sensor, number two. So a good thing to do before pulling these out would definitely be to mark the front side of it. So you don't get that, uh, you know, problem, but trial and error. It's going to happen sometime. Hopefully it doesn't, but anyways, we worked that out. So yes, let me put this back into here. Get everything all right. Um, I'm going to heat shrink, you know, that right there. Then I'm going to heat shrink the rest of these together. And yeah. Couldn't find my shrink wrap. So, electrical tape will work. I got my heat gun all plugged in. So, I'm going to heat this up real quick. I would show you guys the whole thing, but I kind of lost my tripod. So, here we have it. It's all taped up. I also wrote down what each one is so I can keep this. So when we go to wire the chassis harness, everything's all good. This one, I do not need to wire. I do not need to write them down because it's just two wires, so 50-50 chance. And now let's put this back together. So, right here is the front of it. You see, well you can't probably can't see it, but it says one is right over here. So it goes in. I know I can do it. Okay. Just goes in like that. And then you get this little clip right here that then slides back onto. Right here, just like this. There we go. So we have a perfectly good clip for that. So let me finish the other two. Okay, so we got this one taped up. Now this is the X16, so the white clip. And by the way, I just want to let you know, because I lose things a lot, it seems like. I'm actually not a messy person. I just don't have a garage or a shed. So I have to find places around my house. And then I also have other people live in the house who move things, so that's the only reason why I cannot find things. Once I get a garage, you know, everything's going to be all put away, organized and everything. Because I cannot stand when I can't find things. Because I know I have heat shrink, just don't know where it's at. I know I have, um, uh, uh, anyways, let me get back to this. That one's back together, so there's two. Now we just have the black one which the black one is the fuel level sensor and the ground for the fuel level sensor and a vehicle speed sensor. So I'm sure I had to have the ground plugged in, but um, yeah, you know what? I hope, if, I hope this all that works. If it doesn't, then I guess we're going to gauges. So you'll find out. So in this one, there was only three wires. So I just cut the th you know the th one I didn't need just halfway down the middle so just in case I did need it no point in getting rid of all of it so there we go I mean definitely got them worked down a little bit smaller kept all this because you never know if I actually will need that or not or if I will want it and I'm pretty confident in all this um so yeah so there we have it so hopefully I got that right and we um can utilize this instead of spending money on gauges because I re really would like my speedometer, my tack, and my fuel gauge and temp sensor to work. So I almost forgot and I'm glad I remembered and I'm glad I didn't cut any wires off of the white X16 clip. So RPM gauge, tack, it was pin number 20, which is this white and like lime green colored wire. So we actually needed three off the white. So glad I didn't cut it. We ordered some um, ABS plastic and some fuses and relays and things like that, so we can start wiring in the car and stuff like that. Everything's gonna be, you know, good looking, um, as professional as I can. But uh, 
Hope you guys enjoy. Subscribe and like, and leave a comment below if you have any questions, comments, or concerns.